Do you think uh -huh. it was proper for your presidential candidate to keep uh, any surplus of his uh, campaign funds? So he was, a, he was an artist with ads. He was a mayor. Uh -huh. With uh, he's still an artist with his advertisements. I understand that he has so many donors or sponsors that already trust his identity as a mm -hmm. as this personality, which I don't have. Sadly, I'm not an artista, so uh, he has that funds, and maybe that's what's also supporting some of what he has to run as a presidential. No, but I mean, take it, take it, take away. And his he call. has complied with his uh, taxation uh, requirements. Yeah, yeah, but that's besides it. Let's take away his call <laughs> from it. Just uh, my question is, do you think it's proper? and they think it's wise or do you think it corrupts he, uh, the, the political process when our mm. process basically allows um, candidates certain candidates no, not all obviously mm. but certain candidates to basically uh, make a lot of money out of uh, the electoral process mm -hmm. yes. you well, had uh, you had uh, and, Mikey, and, yeah. you had Mike Arroyo and then you had actually you had the uh, Benigno Aquino the third who also and, and a lot, was able to, a lot of uh, candidates, to keep right? some no, uh, campaign in, in funds. fairness it's not just him a lot of a lot of candidates do that do you think it's that's his acknowledgement proper? and his disclosure would actually mean see it's called that his case his example his template should be able to address a needed comelec gap or reform electorally so that would it itself uh, be a room for for action and thankfully he's open about it cisco and yeah uh, that will be a future action for electoral reform which is what to be explicit about yeah it. well What's if you do have a donor excess then let's program it do you return it there's a re ruling regulation to that effect what to do mm -hmm. what to do with it